Bow, what's up everybody? I'm back with another update on a repost exchange campaign. This is the second artist that I tested. Um, again, the song is Brenda, again, by Sama. And if you check this out, you can see, pretty simple, there's some more comments, right? There's some more views if you watch that first video. But let me break down. I'm going to get straight into the facts, All right? So... The first time around, if you see the change in results, well, let's just go to the blue columns. I got an additional 359 streams, 34 likes, 48 reposts, and 12 comments. Now, after this second test, I had 171 streams, 15 likes, 26 reposts, and 6 comments. That might seem disappointing. All right, I understand. It might seem like a smaller number. And I was kind of, you know, thrown off at first, but then I had to think and I remember, all right? One, remember, the difference between test one and te test two, the primary thing was one, I targeted any genre when creating a campaign, and test two, I targeted a specific genre. For those of y'all who might have missed that and for some reason are just watching this video before the other video review which all reviews of repost exchange will be in the link in the description so you can understand all the processes all the learnings that i've i've gone through all the testing so you can use it well the first time all right um and you don't make any mistakes no nope, no nope, i don't want to do this with credits where is it campaign start a new campaign just to make it clear again i'm just gonna click this random um, song uh what is it doing All right, so I'll go back to Brenda again. So when you see this, the first time I clicked any genre, second time I clicked specifically the track genre. So these results don't seem necessarily appeasing, but I had to remember, I had to even the playing field. The first time when I got these results right here, that row, that was with 1,500 credits, and this, these results are from 500 credits. So when you even it out, the Any Genre campaign was 116 streams. The song-specific um, genre campaign was 171 streams. So what I did was divide the campaign results that came from 1,500 credits by three. So I can now have it even out with the 500 credit campaign. So per 500 credits, when I targeted song genre, the results actually did improve. Right? You, you see that by targeting just the genre of type of people who listen to your song which seems to make sense right it, you will get better results the reason i decided to do any genre with the first campaign in this case was just because it seemed like it was a little bit more abstract that it wasn't necessarily a deep house thing but you know i'm not a huge authority on genres anyway so looks like i was wrong that's an important thing to note though about repost exchange because this is showing that this targeting has some effect. It has legitimate effect, and it makes sense with natural logic. You're targeting random genres. You're not necessarily going to get the same results as people who already love and listen to that genre, especially if you don't have a more pop-type song. So that's one thing. But there's more. Oh, and don't forget, people, when I say 500 credits, that is half of $30, half of $29.99, like $14.49 is basically what people are paying when I say 500 credits. That's, that's nothing, right, to get these results. So I know these numbers are small, but I'm testing, right? I'm testing. So you guys don't have to test as much and test as long. So keep those things all in mind. But again, I've ran multiple campaigns at this point and it's showing to be you know really relative to the song and it makes sense to me that brenda again although i love the song and i have an affinity for the song it has a lower rating than the other um songs right because honestly when i first heard it and my homie made it we were younger like it, it, of course it had low mixing but you know when you're in different spaces of, of your career you don't have as high as a taste for certain types of technical 
um, aspects of music. You don't need the mix to be perfect. You don't need certain things. And I also knew and understood the background, the story. Right? All those things made me love it in that time. And I still love it, but I can't expect everybody else to have that same perspective. So I understand that this is the lowest rating song. And if you understand how repost exchange works, we have to remember these songs are getting reposted. We always talk about this stuff. If something's getting reposted, I mean, or if something is advertised, which is essentially what a reposting is, what a Spotify playlisting is, what if you're targeting somebody on a YouTube ad is, it's that beginning of the song is extremely important to capture their attention immediately. And that's something that this song doesn't do because it doesn't start until 40 seconds, right? This is something that I would suggest people have as a album track, right? Or you shorten the version if you're gonna advertise it, but as an album track, when people are already fans of you, then it's a great thing to do. But all these results that I've gotten from Repost Exchange are pretty much in line with any other real marketing platform that I've used, which makes me a fan of Repost Exchange, and I'm gonna to continue to use it until I see something that I think needs to change or that makes me think otherwise. And the same thing with Facebook ads, right? Same thing with YouTube ads. I always try to update you guys when something major um, or significant is happening or as prices are rising or just something isn't irrelevant, but you can still use a platform in a different way. I'll treat this no different, but I'm a, a huge proponent of this. Um, and I say, hey, look, click the link in the description below. Check it out. Um, this, this platform is really dope and they have completely free tiers so it doesn't make sense to at least not sign up to check it out uh, right but the, the platform is pretty dope and simple uh, and, and one thing well no I'll save that for a whole other video but let's let's just keep this in mind though so you don't make this mistake this is the, the action item if you decide to run a campaign all right the, the, the paid campaigns which like I said I do I'm a marketer I don't have time to just like do uh, hand to hand with every single thing all the time. I'm more so, hey, let's get these really quality results in a fast period of time. Let's get you to 200,000, let's get you to 1 million, but it'd be quality versus going the longest of long ways. Um, so any genre does not do good as, as good as song genre. There's some other things that I wanna break down campaign wise um well platform wise explaining some rules but i do that in a completely separate video but yeah i mean that's it it's just another test with another artist these, these aren't even the two tests that i'm showing aren't even the best results i've gotten from an artist as of yet as well there's one artist that uh, i did but i'm not going to talk about it because it's a it's a uh, current client that you know i just don't really have permission to talk about the results were crazy um, some very, very, very good results. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to continue to use this platform, and that's it. And, you know, anybody got some feedback, positive or negative, put it in the comment section below. Other than that, as always, if you like this video, go ahead hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. It's the mat work. <laughs>